the Justice Harat Samani led five member panel had in a unanimous decision dismissed the petitions of Atiko Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Labour Party's Peter Obi for failing to prove their case of corrupt practices, electoral fraud, certificate forgery, and forfeiture of US dollars over alleged drug case. And it also dismissed the argument that 25% votes of the FCT was required for anyone to emerge as president. This summed up the decision of the court on the consolidated petitions challenging the outcome of the 2023 presidential election which electoral body INEC had declared Bola Tinubu of the APC winner. The panel says the petitions of both presidential candidates, apart from being vague and not specific, failed to prove allegations that are criminal in nature such as Tinubu's alleged forgery of his Chicago State University certificate. And the court dismissed both cases for lack in merit. The judgment has been delivered, but we have not received justice. Luckily, the Constitution has given us the right to go on appeal. This is a court of first instance to go and appeal to the Supreme Court. Our clients are dissatisfied with the judgment just delivered. And uh, we have the firm instruction of our clients to challenge the judgment on appeal. And uh, the court has promised us that possibly by tomorrow we are going to get a copy of the judgment. Once we have it, we swing into action. To allow appeal at the Supreme Court, the Presidential Tribunal said it will make the certified true copies of the judgment available. Atiku and Obi have 14 days from the date of the judgment, which is 6th of September, to appeal at the Apex Court. With time already counting from Thursday the 7th of September, the Secretariat of the Presidential Tribunal left it a bit late, making the copy available on Friday the 8th of September. As the parties have finally taken delivery of copies of the judgment, a 798-page document, the next and final leg of the legal fireworks is at Nigeria's highest court. Godfrey Eshamogay, Arise News.